you just got your first win, first Danish player to win on the LPGA Tour. Tell me how you're feeling right now. It's amazing. It's a dream come true. Um, it was a crazy day, a lot of good things. Um, it was actually fun playing the playoff with Janet at the end, um, so, but I'm really excited to be standing with the trophy right now. I want to take you back first to the 72nd hole. Unfortunately, the bogey there and then followed with the, the birdie from Janet. What happened there on the approach and what was going through your mind? Well, I thought it was the right club, but obviously I got a flyer from that lie. Um, I still thought I had a good chance of just making it up and down, but then it ended up being a bogey. Um, that's what happens. It's golf. Um, I'm just very proud that I went into the playoff and finished off with a birdie and an eagle. Um, yeah. Was your heart in your throat when you saw Janet's chip <laughs> on the first playoff hole? Yeah, I mean, shoot out to Janet. She really fought. She finished up uh, birdie birdie. Um, so she played amazing too. Um, but yes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was a little nervous there. But how long was, was your That's putt there? on the first playoff? It was 17 meters. Okay. Yeah. And then the, the second playoff hole, how much did you have for Eagle and what was in your mind as you saw hers come in, hers come in so close? Yeah, she made a very good chip there and obviously she had the birdie, so I knew I had to make that, otherwise you had to go in another playoff hole. Um, we had a good line, we thought, um, and it showed up. We have a good line. Um, I was just excited to see that, pop, that ball, ball drop. How much did you and Janet play off each other today? You both had such great rounds playing alongside each other to come down there to the end. Yeah, well, I got off to a really hot start and was leading with four after just th a couple of holes played. Right, you um, opened up with the eagle. Yes, yeah, eagle and birdie. Um, but then Janet played some very solid holes from there and there was only one shot between us after seven. Uh, I made some good birdies after that. and. Then Janet picked me up again, so we were kind of back and forth. Uh, I always had the lead, um, but she was getting close. Uh, and then in the end, we were tied for the lead. Um, but it was it was an exciting day playing against her. The two of you, your your total score, 26 under, broke the tournament scoring record. Did you feel you had that in you coming into this week? Um, I mean, I would. I would not say that I was counting on winning this week at all. Um, I'm usually not very good when the greens are a little slower. Um, so I'm very excited how I performed this week. Um, yes. And then finally, who were some of the golfers you looked up to when you were a kid and what does it mean to you to now put your name with some of theirs? Um, obviously I looked up to the some of the Scandinavians, Susan Pedersen, uh, Annika, those players, um, amazing players. Um, I mean, they've done so so well in their careers. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to get an Annika career. Um, no one really is, um, but I'm I'm very excited about this tournament. I'm sure I will be more to come. Awesome. Anything else you guys have? We're good.